Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome to my home tour. And a lot of you guys have been waiting on this one. This is my uh, renovation home tour. So if you would like to see what my home looked like before the renovation, which is not much, it's mostly a paint job. We'll talk about that. Then I will put links to some videos below and also in the iCard. And I do believe Jordan's even going to do a pan around shot so you guys can see what the house looked like when it was painted a different color. So you will notice my walls have changed colors. And this color, I do believe, is called Liberty Gray. I'm not sure about that. I can look it up if you really like it. We can put that in the description. It's a beautiful color. It turned out a good bit bluer than I thought it was going to be. Um, you'll see everything as I turn around. I'll do a good paint around and show you every single thing. But it did turn out a good bit bluer than I thought it would be. But... Um, I really like how it looks. Now I'm going to warn you, it's going to be a long one because there's a lot of new things. A lot of things have changed. Um, I have a lot of new decor and I like to tell you guys about everything. So if you're not into home tours, you probably don't want to watch this one. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> so let's walk through just a little bit here. So here you can see the dining room. And as I pan around, you'll be able to see the kitchen. And don't worry, I'm going to go into every room and every nook and every cranny that I can and show you everything that I can. But I'm loving how it turned out. I tried to go much more minimalistic than I did before, than I usually do. But I'll be honest with you, that's very hard for me because I feel like every surface needs a thing. And you'll see that as we go. So why don't we start in the living room? Okay, so here's the living room from the other side of the room. It's my front door there. I love my ladder here. So um, the ladder came from a thrift store in Prattville, Alabama called Prattville Pickers. And it was actually a gift with purchase type of thing. I purchased a, um, like a buffet that I was going to use for something, decided not to, have changed my mind about that. But when I purchased that buffet, the sweet guy at the um, flea market gave me this ladder to go, just as a gift because I was like, I really like this ladder. So let me show you. Um, on the ladder, some cool, cool things. So some of you might recognize these little guys. This is from Decorators Warehouse in Texas. I, um, I try to go there every year. I have not been this year, but these glass bulbs are what they use in the Christmas trees um, at Christmas time. And I have about three of them and I love them. And I also love these succulents, which I'll tell you all about my succulents and everything too. But I decided to hang that just like that because I love it. And this lantern is also from Decorators. I got it at Christmas time. It is battery operated, but it's not on a timer. So I don't have it lit right now. Um, I should have lit it, but I didn't. But it does light up. And it's just hung on some ribbon that looks like mattress ticking. And then this little guy is just this, um, look from the side. It was this like coffee cup shaped basket that I had my coffee in for a long time when I had a Keurig. I don't have a Keurig anymore, so I didn't really need that cup. And I thought this would be cute. So I hung it on my ladder and then I just stuck a faux fern. You'll learn something about me. Faux is my thing. <laughs> so there's a faux fern. And then I just have a blanket there, just a white blanket. I got that blanket at TJ Maxx. Got this rug also at TJ Maxx. And then this picture, we actually picked up when we were in Warm Springs, Georgia um, last Christmas. And we were going to use it for Christmas decor because I thought it was really cool. But since we added the deer in, which are controversial, um, since we added the deer, I, I let that stay there. I think it looks good there anyway. It's kind of small and I'll probably add some stuff to this wall, although I'm trying not to add. I'm trying not to. I do need a wreath on that hook. I don't have one in here yet. I haven't found the one I want. Um, and as we pan around, we'll go ahead and talk about the deer. So these are my husband's deer. And if you follow me on any social media, you will know that I'm not a fan of deer hunting or deer or anything else. But he is. And I believe that life is short. And he gives me 90% of the house. He gets this wall. <laughs> so these are his deer. And a lot of you guys wanted to see them. Because a lot of you guys, your husbands hunt. Some of you guys hunt. And that is totally your business. It's just not my thing. Um, but these are Vince's deer. They are hanging there. We have named them. One of them is Delbert. The one closest to me is Delbert. And the one far away is Jamal. There is a story behind that, but I won't bore you with that for now. But Delbert and Jamal are there. And then we have these antlers. Now, I will tell you this. I'm looking forward to Christmas because they will be decorated at Christmas. That I am excited about. Um, you might have seen this little chick <laughs> in a pan around. You might have seen the chick. The chick is something that we have a group of um, girls that hang out. We call ourselves um, chicks. And so I got chicks because I hosted the party the last time. And we put that chick on the front door of the person who's hosting each party. So I have to deliver that to Miss Brenda's house next. So I was chicked. All right. This area, which I love, 
you might have seen on Instagram, I painted that archway. What is that called? It's not an arch, but it's a, uh, I guess it kind of is an arch, like an old window. I got that at a place here in Clanton called Rustic Relics. You're going to hear a lot about Rustic Relics as we go through my house because I love them. And I buy a lot of stuff there, including the little wreath that's on it. We'll get it closer. I'll turn the light on over there. But that is my little arch. And when I bought it, it was wood, just wood finish, um, brown. And I, I hung it up and I thought it would be okay because I have a lot of brown in here. Like the railings are still brown. I didn't paint the railings or anything. But it just didn't work. So I painted it white and it popped on the wall. And so now I love it. And my plan for that is just to always have a seasonal wreath on it. Um, and right now I just have a boxwood wreath. Let me go turn the light on. It's a little dark over here. There we go. So you can see the little wreath there and the archway. And I just painted this with some chalk paint that I get at Walmart. This table was actually in my bathroom for the longest time. I love this table. Um, but when I changed everything in here to the gray and white color scheme, I decided to bring it out because I think it's beautiful. So that sits there. That is my um, Young Living diffuser, oil diffuser. I love that thing. I, I, did, I just wanted that. <laughs> so I signed up just to get this, and I love it. And since then, I've been loving my oil. So I'm very new to the oil, so I don't know much about them. So I'm not the one to ask. But if you're interested, I know people, so just let me know. I can hook you up with them. This little guy right here was made by my son, Thomas, including the jars. They did this as a school project. I don't know if he actually painted the jars and did the strings, but I know he worked on this box. And so I loved it, and I put some of that. Um, you guys have educated me over the years. I thought that was sage, but I want to say in my defense, the tag of the piece that I bought said sage. So that's why I thought it was sage. But you guys tell me it's actually lamb's ear. So there's some lambs in there, which I love. Here, and look, I'm not 100% oil because I also love my candles. <laughs> I'm an oxymoron. Okay, here I have this beautiful clock. Oh my goodness, I love this clock. It does not have batteries in it. It's just for looks. Um, it is from Pier 1. At, so is the little Home Sweet Home piece. The Home Sweet Home piece, I could not find a place that I loved it, and I sat it here kind of on accident one day, and I thought, you know what, I like it with that clock. So it's ended up there, but it may not stay there, but th both of those pieces are from Pier 1. Um, my stools, okay. If you follow my home tours before, you will know I have not had stools here. Um, in my old house, I did. In this one, we didn't do stools, and I was at Rustic Relics one day, and these three were sitting side by side, and they were super super cheap. They were 19 bucks a piece and they were already painted to match my house perfectly. And I needed some white in this area because you can see how dark this bar is. And I'm already pushing the colors in this house by using this dark kind of mahogany color with the new gray colors. So I thought this would really help to break up this area. I love it. Um, everybody that sees it in person loves it. I think it's a little garish on camera. I think it's a little sharp, but in person it's really pretty. Okay, let's back up here. Um, the fireplace. All right, I'll tell you something about my fireplace. I have a love-hate relationship with my fireplace. It's gotten some better. Um, Vince got a new TV. He wanted something that was mounted and up higher on the on the mantle. Before, my TV sat on the mantle, just on its stand, and I couldn't decorate my fireplace mantle at all, which was a blessing and a curse <laughs> because I have never decorated my mantle in a way that I love it. So I was okay with not being able to decorate it, believe it or not. But now that I have just a tiny bit of space, I love how the greenery looks. It helps to hide a bazillion cords that are back there. Um, this little tin, this little um, picture I got at Rustic Relics, I'll show you. It's just cute. It's just that um, metal. This sign my mother gave me because it fits our family perfectly. <laughs> She gave me that for my birthday. And then this clock also doesn't have batteries. Came from Rustic Relics. And I love that pop of Buffalo Check. You'll see Buffalo Check's my thing. But I love this clock and had to have it. So there's that. Here's some chalk couture. You're already going to start seeing it. This is the, um, I want to say 9 by 18 one-time use board. And I've actually got this on this side. The charity never faileth. And if you flip it over, I have an, the peacemaker scripture on the other side. And I just hung this um, using command strips. So I just stuck a command strip to it and stuck it straight to my tile. When I'm ready to take it off, I'll just have to slowly pull it so that the command strip comes off easily. And then I can clean it up off the board. But there's that. And then these guys. Okay. So you might notice I have pillows in them. 
And some people might think that's kind of strange. And I'm okay if you think it's strange because we all have our style. But I love the pop of buffalo check. It adds to my fireplace. And I decided, oops, I put my hand in the way. Sorry. I just decided to keep that like that. These are some watering. Uh, no, no, no. They're called planters. These uh, metal and rust colored planters. I got them from Rustic Relics as well. And they're very, very big. So it takes a lot to fill them up. But the pillows take up a lot of space. So I really like the pillows on there. And then this greenery is from Hobby Lobby. This is just some of that faux succulent greenery. But these guys are from E Favor Mart. Now I have a coupon code with E Favor Mart. I'm going to uh, leave it in the description below. They gifted me these flowers. I love them. They actually gifted me several things, and in the same, in the process of gifting them to me, they gave me a coupon code for you guys. So I'm going to put that in the description for you and all the information about it. So if you want to go pick up some of the flowers and some other things, you can. This little home sign is from Pier One. This little church is from Rustic Relics, and this little dog, which matches nothing is from a um, estate sale many, many years ago, and it has stayed on my hearth as long as I can remember. Um, let's talk about the coffee table. The coffee table. So if you follow me any length of time, you know this is my coffee table from forever. <laughs> I've always had this coffee table. But on it, I put a black tray, this little copper um, geometric candle holder, and then these two candlesticks and candles. The candlesticks in the back, the, the blessed and thankful, came from Rustic Relics. This little guy right here is from e Favor Mart. I've got to put a candle in it, but I want to put some battery-operated ones in there, and I just don't have any right now. But I love the copper. You'll see in the kitchen I've done copper, and I like bringing a little copper out here into the living room. It doesn't look extremely copper. There we go. Now it looks coppery. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. So also e Favor Mart. My pillowcases. Oh, I almost forgot. I will link these for you. These Buffalo Check pillowcases came from Amazon, and they're like... When I bought them, they were like $11.99. You see, I have the two there and then the two here. They were really super cheap. But what I love is my couch came with pillows, but I didn't care for those. And I could put these pillowcases on them, and they look really good, and they cost me little or nothing. The blanket is from TJ Maxx, but I want to caution you. I don't love it. It's very furry, and it, it sheds worse than my dogs. Seriously, it sheds so bad. So no one uses it. It just sits there, and when company comes over, I take it down because it's too furry. But um, I do like the white on the gray, but I don't really care for that particular one. These pictures came from Hobby Lobby. That arch came from Rustic Relics, and it was white when we got it. I didn't have to paint it. We just hung it up. So Thomas helps me do my, my picture hanging. What else is in the living room? I think that's everything in here. Oh, these two tables. <laughs> I hate these tables. I did hate these tables. I've had them for years. I've, I've threatened to get rid of them, threatened to get rid of them, never would. And then I said, you know what? I'm just going to hit them with a coat of white chalk paint. And if I love them, I'll keep them. And if I don't, then I can get rid of them. Well, I hit them with white chalk paint and I really like them. I like the way they pop and bring a little white there to the end of the table. So we're keeping them. In here, you'll see my Puppy gate. We have we have three Winnie dogs, so this keeps them out of the boys' rooms because they are mischievous. If you don't know Winnie dogs, they get into everything, so you have to keep them in your eyesight. They are outside right now. <laughs> so that um, puppy gate came from TJ Maxx, and I actually bought two of them because they match, and they're great. What I love about them is they're too, they're too heavy for the girls to tip them over, but... I don't know. It depends on your dog. Obviously, Winnie dogs are not going to jump over that, but they also still look very, you know, decoratory, I guess is the word, but they're too heavy for them to tip them, and I love that. Behind the couch, I have this space that's really not usable. I rearranged, I need to talk about my rearrangement. We'll talk about it in a second. I rearranged my living room in a way that I absolutely love. I think it's the best layout I've ever had, but it leaves me with this space, and I'm tossing around putting a sofa table here, but I'm, I'm, really cautious about it because I'm trying not to um, clutter up my living room. So I really love this. This is just a bucket that I use for my beverage uh, dispensers. And these succulents, by the way, are from Hobby Lobby. They're incredible, those huge succulents. And, and it's funny, I didn't think anybody would notice it, but when I had my chicks over, my girlfriends, that's one thing that they noticed. They're like, where did you get those? They loved them. So they really are pretty and they just kind of put something there just because. Okay, let's talk about the arrangement of the living room. <laughs> If you go watch my other home tours, you will see I have tried to arrange this living room for years. It is hard to arrange. I have one wall, okay? I have a wall full of windows, and then I have a stair rail, and then no wall. So it's very hard to get your living room when it's like this to feel 
um, cohesive and planted. So I just decided I'm going to do what I always wanted to do and never would do. And I took my couch and my love seat and I, um, ain't, I put them on either side of my fireplace so that the fireplace anchors them like this. And then I put my husband's recliner here. And this is the best I've ever laid my living room out. And I love it. And I was afraid it would, it would make my living room feel very small. But I have to be honest with you, it actually makes it feel bigger. And the reason is I have more seating that's actually usable seating because you can sit on the love seat and see the television. You can sit on the couch and see the television. You can sit in the recliner and see the TV, which we rarely, I don't watch Vince watches, but when we have company over, it's a perfect conversation, um, a way to do conversation. And my ottoman is also seats. It's a leather, you know, it's an ottoman. I mean, it's a, it's a coffee table ottoman. So I love that too, because it's a perfect place for seating. And um, when I, like I said, when I had my girlfriends over, I think we had 15 and we really all got in here pretty comfortably. We added some chairs and stuff, but I love it. And I think the only thing I'm concerned about, and I know y'all feel me, is where is my Christmas tree going? I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm not 100% sure yet. You'll see at Christmas if you stick around for my Christmas tour. So there's the living room layout. Okay, dining room. I had planned to replace my dining room furniture, but I love this dining room furniture. I've had it since we moved back into this house, and I love it. And I, um, my table will has two leaves, and it'll get huge for when we have company over. So I really don't want to have to hunt up another table. But once we painted, I really like the dark wood against the gray and with the white, so I decided to keep it. I didn't adjust it in any way. It's exactly like it was before, but I love how it looks. So let's get into the dining room. This door, do you love it? I do. <laughs> this door was made by my friend Larry. He is a gentleman who is retired and he does cricket. He, um, he did this with his cricket and he came in and took a class from me, which he had already done this before the class, by the way. He came in and took a cricket class and I was like, he brought me a picture of this. And I said, um, I want one of those. And he sold me one that he made. He had, I don't know where he gets everything, but these gorgeous pieces and this door handle, are you kidding me? They're gorgeous. And I just love it. And when I was rearranging, I just laid this here against the wall. I had no intentions of leaving it there. I just kind of laid it there. And then as I started doing the house, I really liked it right there. So I left it. That's where it ended up. Okay, over here, <laughs> this is my fun stuff. At the top, you see the little sign that says, um, in his grasp, by his grace and for his glory. That came from... Pigeon, four, no, Gatlinburg, a few years ago, I bought that at a little sign shop in Gatlinburg. The blessed sign came from Kirkland's, I think. I want to say Kirkland's. It could have been Hobby Lobby, but I've had it for a long time. These little guys on the wall, the little succulent holders, I got those on Amazon. I'll be sure to link those for you. And the succulents came from um, E Favor Mart. That's right. I got the succulents from there. I love the succulents they have on that, on that website, so I'll link those too. The little circle... This is totally chalk couture, and that is the date, the year that my husband and I got married, so established in 1998. I love that um, chalk couture circle. It's so pretty. And then tobacco basket came from Rustic Relics. Um, the flowers down there, these are also from E Favor Mart, the little white ones. And that cake, I love faux food, as you can see. Um, the cake and the muffins and this cake came from Amazon. And then the pies I bought at a local flea market. A little girl made those, and I love them. And this fruit in this little wooden, um, I don't know what these are called. It's just a wooden, like, bowl. I've been collecting this for a long, long time, just when I would see fruit at a flea market. Because, listen, it's expensive. Fake fruit, fake food is expensive. So what I would do is if they have, like, a basket with four or five pieces, I would buy that up and save the pieces and then just give my friends the baskets or whoever might need it or use them for storage. But I love collecting the fruit. And so none of it really came together, really. Some of it did, but I bought it in pieces and parcels. This piece here, which I adore, my cousin Holly decided to get rid of, and I grabbed it up from her. I love it. It's a scale, and um, it, it literally, you know, lifts. I don't want to do it because it'll fall on camera. But it rises and falls. It's like a, um, like a balance scale, and I love it. This, I don't know where it came from. I think Amazon. It might have been e favor Mart. I'll have to see, and I'll try to link it for you below. Okay, onto the table. You guys will recognize this. This is my chocolate stuff. 
I will be redoing, I'll be doing another table runner for Christmas, but this is my spring table runner. You guys would have seen me make this on um, a video, and if not, we can link that below too. Also, my placemats, I got these placemats at Pier 1, and I added the wording because I thought it was really cute, yummy, and delish. Oh, I have to show you. Okay. These napkin rings are from E. Favor Mart. Look how cute these are. I thought they looked very galvanized and very vintage, so I love these. I got these there. The napkins I picked up at Pier 1 when I was there. Um, again, collections of fruit and baskets. The baskets are from Rustic Relic, so here in town. And then these flowers are from E-Favor Mart. And then the fruit and stuff, I've just been collecting. So all, mostly Rustic Relics. Whenever I would see something with fruit in it, I would buy it so I could get the fruit. Because it's not, that fruit is not inexpensive. It is expensive. This is real fruit. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> these apothecary jars. I've had these in every home tour as long as I can remember, and they're always, they usually have something different, but I've loved the rocks in the bottom. You can see they're, they're river rocks, and the succulents are from E. Favor Mart, and you just, oh wait, those might be from Walmart. I've had those a while. Those may be from Walmart, those succulents, but I just tucked them into the rocks, and I love them there. That tray is from TJ Maxx years ago here, and let's go this way. Did I show you everything here? This uh, baker's rack. It's from a flea market or a yard sale, one or the other. I cannot remember. I've had it for a very long time. So here it is from this side, the dining room from this side. There's the living room. Let's go to the kitchen. Let me give you a shot of the kitchen from here so you can see what it looks like. Um, and please don't forget that we live here. So you probably will see fingerprints and all that. I didn't really clean. I did, a li I, I did the dishes and wiped the counters. So, you know, we live here. <laughs> so in my kitchen, I'm going to back up. This is my little... Um, like breakfast nook here. Ignore the Yeti. <laughs> this is Vince's cooler down here. But I told you we had a party not long ago, so we had to have ice, and that had, it's too heavy for me to take down, so it sits here. So my curtains, you might be surprised to know, I did not change my curtains when we painted. Those are the very same curtains I've had since we moved back. They matched perfectly, and I was really excited about that because I hate buying curtains. It is like the worst for me. <laughs> I do not like buying curtains. I always, always second guess myself, so I was really happy that these worked in the other color and this color. And also, if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that the, that, that um, fork and spoon artwork has been here since we moved back home. Um, I bought it, actually, I got that at Fred's. Can you believe I got this at Fred's? Like, I think Fred's. We may have to go back and watch another vlog and see, but I'm pretty sure I picked those up at Fred's forever ago. Um... The copper tray on my table, my Aunt Nita gave me that, and I think she picked it up at Pier 1. I think so. That little farmer's market, um, there's a name for that. Is it a milk tin? That came from Walmart. The greenery here came from, I think, Walmart. I think. That table runner is from E-Favor Mart. I had to buy them at different times, but they still work, and I love this one because it's super long. Um... And this little um, napkin holder was from a flea market I was at one time. They had a whole set of, of the napkin holder and a plate holder and a silverware holder. And I'll leave that on the table because when we eat, this is the table. When we eat at the table, we eat here and the other one. But I just leave napkins out for folks whenever we do that. These guys have been here forever and a day, but they had different plates in them. They had like orange, you know, plates that matched the decor back then. But now I've added these white plates. And my intention, I have not had time to do it, but my intention is Chalkature has brought out a new um, a new transfer that has a, let me think, a cow, a pig, and a chicken. And I think it'd be cute if I did this, this plate with the cow, this one with the pig, and this one with the chicken like they were stacked. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do the same. I'll try not to make y'all dizzy. I'm going to go kind of slow. I'm going to do the same on this side. I think that'll be cute to have that there. This piece is Chalkature. You guys saw me do that on a video. I absolutely love that. I love those chickens. <laughs> I love how it looks right there. That home sign. Okay. I found it at Rustic Relics. And I have to tell you, someone made this by hand. Someone, they did not cut out vinyl. They did not do any kind of fancy. They took a marker and they wrote home on this cabinet door. On, <laughs> and I loved it. I fell in love with the homemadeness of it. And the fact that it says home. And so I bought it. Super inexpensive and just hung it above the door. I saved me. Thomas hung it up for me. 
This is my coffee station. I always like to have a coffee station. I get that from my mother. She's always had one. And I don't know that you've ever seen this in a video. I got this at Rustic Relics, but it was brown. And it used to match, but now it didn't. So I painted it white again. And I'll show you what kind of paint I use. I actually have it here in my drawer. How funny is that? This is the paint that I use right here. And I buy these little, I bought the little bottles because they were out of the big, but I bought like five or six and they go forever. So I just keep these in my drawer. So if something sits still long enough, I paint it white. <laughs> so there's my little um, coffee rack. Oh, these guys, e -favor Mart. This one, this one, and this one, and the little succulent flowers in the bottom. I told you I wanted to do clean and neat decor and I feel like that looks very clean and neat. Um, down here, you can see I've got a couple of Ray Dunn cups. This is, says tea and that one says coffee. Um, here's how I keep my coffee. This is a flavored coffee. This is just regular. And then I use filters in my um, coffee pot. I'll show you that in a second. And then I have this because when I use a spoon, I like to put it in here so I have it all day. Just And this is the only thing that gets messy. Okay, this is my coffee pot. I love it. You see my cords back there? Cords are just life, y'all. I should change it from white to black, but I had a white cord and I used it. So there you go. Love this Ninja coffee pot. If you would like me to do a review on it, I'll be happy to. If you just leave it in the comments, I'll let you know all the details about it. But I love this guy. So there's my ninja. Then, remember me telling you that I collected all that fruit, all my fake fruit? This was at Rustic Relics, and it had fake fruit in each tier. So I bought it with the intentions of just using the fake fruit and maybe putting this in my pantry. But when I get home, I really liked it for our real fruit. So that's where it sits. And then the sink. <laughs> There's my view there from washing dishes. This little shelf, well, let's start with the copper. Okay, the copper pieces. I've been collecting those for a while. If you watch my other home tours, you'll see that they were hung in the breakfast nook over the windows. I was going to get rid of them. I had decided I was doing away with copper and I was um, putting stuff out and I, have, I just bought these canisters like right before we did the, the painting of the house. And I was so, I was like, I cannot get rid of these canisters. I just bought them. And so I sat them on the counter and I love the gray, the way the gray looked with the copper. So I thought, well, I'm going to bring those pieces down and see what they look like. So I just took a thumbtack and did this one piece right here and fell in love with that copper. And that's what made me bring all the rest of my copper down underneath my backsplash. I don't have a pretty backsplash. I've never had it tiled. It's just paint. So I love being able to hang something there to make it kind of fancy. This little white shelf came from Rustic Relics. It's actually two pieces, but I put them together. And do you remember me telling you I could not find tiny succulents? Do you see how tiny this is? This is from eFavor Mart. I love these guys. So I put these right here. These I bought from Rustic Relics and painted the little, you can see I painted the little containers they were in. And then I was able to find these smaller ones on um, e favor Mart. This is where I keep my oils. I'm not loving this little, sh I love the shelf, but it's falling apart. Do you see this? Every time I clean my cabinets, I find pieces of this or clean my counter, I find pieces of it. So I'm probably gonna have to get something else, but I'm gonna take my time and find just what I want. Those little lights you see sitting there, see if they'll come on. I don't even know if they'll come on. Let's try. Nope, batteries are dead. They're battery operated lights. But it was a mistake. I shouldn't have put battery operated ones up there. The batteries just die so fast. So eventually I'm gonna have um, lighting put up there so you can, uh, it'll light up this area. I just haven't. So this is a Lazy Susan, love it. It does turn, but I'm not gonna turn it. And what I have on it, the plate, I'm pretty sure that's from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure. And then the little jar, you won't believe that little mesa jar, that is from Lakeside. I love um, Lakeside Limited, I think is the name of it. That's from there. The little, this is the cutest little pedestal. Do you see it with the little copper dots? Um, that's from Rustic Relics. The little milk pitcher is from, I think, Rustic Relics. And I love how that looks. And then this little cup is from Rustic Relics too. It came just like that. I didn't, it, I didn't decorate it. It came with the little greenery in it. Um, I have a little Ray Dunn spoon. I don't go Ray Dunn crazy. I love Ray Dunn stuff, but I just like a touch of it here and there. Um, these, okay. These are the best knives I've ever had. Several of them are in the dishwasher right now. Sorry, I'm making a mess here. These knives are amazing. They are called, I'll link them below for you guys. I can't remember. What's the name of them? Here it is, Mercer. These are Mercer knives. 
that one looks dirty. Sorry about that. It's not. It just came out of the dishwasher like that. But these are called Mercer. And my son, who is a chef, introduced me to those. They're the best. And I love that block because I love the way it just nestles and it slides out when I need it. I just love it. I will link those for you. The salt and pepper shaker are from Kirkland years ago. This guy you would have seen me do on my channel. Actually, Amanda's husband, Alan, made it for me. Now, it's not meant for my style oven. See, um, my stove has electric eyes. It's actually meant for a glass top stove, but I just sit it on my electric eyes and I love how it looks. And what we do is when we're cooking, we take it off here and I put it between the refrigerator and the counter right here. So it just stands up. And then I just put it back after everything's cooled off. So when we're not cooking or, you know, it's been a while, that's what goes right there. I got these guys at... I think Durban Farms, there's a, um, it's like a, it's like a farmer's market. And I'm pretty sure that's where I got those. They say, um, life is a peach on those because we're in Peach County, Alabama. Then that, this little blue and white pitcher, I love that. That came from Rustic Relics. I keep my utensils in it. And these are my really, really old worn out cutting mats. But I love how they stand up like this and they just kind of nestle. So I've had those for years. And then this is a trivet. It came with some pots and pans I bought one time, and I really didn't think I liked it, but I really do. It um, is magnetic. So when I put the pot on it, it travels with the pot. So I just leave it here until I need it. Up here, you will see me in the window in dirt. <laughs> Those little boxwood wreaths came from, I don't remember. I really don't. I think Kirkland's. I could be wrong. And I just put them up with ribbon. Do you see that? And what I did, let me show you. Hold on, let me open the cabinet. It's so high up. Okay. I put a command hook up like that, tied a knot in the ribbon, and then hooked it around. I had Thomas do it. They're too high for me to reach. But just hooked it around like that so they hang from the command hook. So that way I didn't put a nail or any kind of hole into my um, cabinetry. And my cabinets need refinishing. They are getting rough. They are getting, they need refinishing. I'm just not brave enough to take that on. Haven't really done anything to the top of the cabinets. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if anything. I really kind of like the paint color just showing, and I like the non-clutteredness. Um, I think that's everything, y'all. I really do. I think that's everything. <laughs> I think I'm showing you. Um, all this. I will film the boys' bathroom and show you that because I did redo that as well. Oh, here's the other. This is my other little doggy gate. We put it here so they can't go downstairs. And let me show you downstairs. I'll also show you my new entryway I'm working on downstairs, but I'll film that in a separate clip. So in the boys' bathroom, I didn't do a lot, but I wanted to show you the color change, which I love, the gray again. And this is the chalk couture stuff I told you guys I was doing to put in here. Look how good it looks on this wall. Like, I love it. It's so crisp and bright and clean, and I love that. And then this is the shower curtain that we were waiting on that took forever and it's super long which is really cool because used to put my finger in used to their shower curtain stopped right there or a little above but this went up a whole foot which is good because my boys are so tall or at least you know they're taller than that shower and that gives gives them more room and I decided to install one of those curved um, shower curtain rods to add a little space in there too. So I really like that. That rod is from Walmart. It's really nice. It's a little hard to put up, but once you understand it, you can figure it out. This is another one of those photos here. Um, not photos, but chalk couture pieces here. And that's really all I did in here. I just wanted to show y'all those pieces and the color change of the wall. Oh, that'll make you dizzy. And the color change of the wall. And there it is. And this is my downstairs entryway. Look at this bench. I found this bench at Rustic Relics. I think it is gorgeous, and I actually found out that my friend made it. His name is Larry. The one who made the door upstairs also made this bench. I love it. And then this is actually a Ray Dunn pillow that I found at TJ Maxx. It just says Home Sweet Home. It's been tilted. Let me fix it a little bit. <laughs> There's that. This um, blush color blanket is also from TJ Maxx. And this area, um, the tobacco basket I got at Rustic Relics. That wreath I also got at Rustic Relics. I'm telling y'all, everything I get is from there just about. This picture, I want to say, was Hobby Lobby, and these three here were from, I don't remember. I do not remember. Maybe, <laughs> maybe um, TJ Maxx or Dollar General even. I'm not sure. One of the two. And then as we pan around, this, nothing on that wall yet. I've got ideas for it. This is 
a dresser I picked up at a local furniture store and it's what we can use for shoes. It's a good place to put shoes and hide them when we come in the door or mail or it's junk drawers is what it is, but, they're, but the junk's not laying around everywhere. And then I just have a few things up top. Those um, Labrador bookends are so cute. These were from um, Warm Springs, the same, same time we got the deer picture I showed you upstairs. This cotton is not staying. I just didn't know what to do with it. So I like the white on the wall, stuck it right there. This area is very much a work in progress. But I'll tell you what you might not know. Let me turn back around. This is, and I may not even have shown this before in video, but this is where Mamay started. <laughs> Vince is standing here with me. I don't think I've ever said that to them. Yeah. But this used to be a desk. <laughs> this is where we did everything. This was a desk and a bookshelf right here in this area. Um, it's actually when you come in our downstairs door, this is it from backed up, but there was a desk here, a bookshelf on this side. That's where the stamps, whenever we say, oh, there was a bookshelf, we put the stamps on. It was right here. It had um, one stamp set on it. it was, but, nothing else. Pile of stamps set. but nothing else because I cleaned that shelf off just to put that pile yeah. of stamps on. And then um, on the other side was nothing until we started the store. We put a bookshelf um, on the opposite wall. We put a bookshelf here to the whole product. So this has always been like not not decoratable it's always been a desk or it's always been bookshelves or whatever and it was actually our very first place we started and now i really like how it looks so that is our downstairs entry so that's it guys you've seen my newly painted i keep saying renovated but it's not i still have some stuff that's going to be done i can show all that later when it gets done some construction stuff but that's it and i hope you enjoyed the new paint color and the new decorating and i will see you next time Bye bye